Hello friends, welcome to interview preparation. If you are preparing for a DevOps profile, then you should know about the architecture of Jenkins. Jenkins is an automation server which is open source that is used to build, test and deploy the software projects. If you haven't seen the video on what is Jenkins, then you can go to the i button and you can check out the video. When it comes to the architecture of Jenkins, it follows a client server architecture. It is also known as master slave architecture. In Jenkins, master node act as a central point of control. It is responsible for managing user interface, configuration, job scheduling, build process, and distributing the task to the slave nodes. The master node also stores all the build artifacts and logs. On the other hand, slave node is responsible for executing the task assigned by the master node. It is then reporting the result back to the master node. Here, Jenkins takes the code from the Git repository and give it to the slave jobs for execution. Now, let's understand how job executes on slave. The job execution in Jenkins follows a specific sequence. First user creates a job and configure it with all necessary parameters and the build step. Then the job is triggered either manually or automatically based on the schedule event. The master node then distributes the job to one of the connected slave nodes. Then the build process begins on the slave node. After that, once build is completed, the result is sent back to the master node and the user can view the build status and the logs. We have seen how master and slave node do their work. Now let's understand how communication happens between master and slave. The communication between master and slave node is done on a Java based protocol called Java Network Launch Protocol, which is also known as JNLP. The master node launches the JNLP agent on the slave node which establish a connection between the two nodes. This allow master to send the build instruction to the slave and then receive the status and updates of the logs from the slave nodes. By leveraging master and slave architecture, Jenkins can handle large and complex build job efficiently, making it the most popular choice for continuous integration and continuous delivery in the software development. Thank you for being with us till now. I hope you like the video. If your friends are also preparing for the interviews, you can share these videos with your friends. Also check out our new and cool videos. Please like, share and subscribe our channel for the videos like this. Happy learning.